Hey guys, I just woke up and I look pretty rough. So this is my current situation when I do my makeup. I'm sitting on the floor in my mom's bathroom. She has terrible lighting. And I don't have a desk because I live with my mom right now because I moved back home for the restaurant. So this is what I deal with. So I'm going to attempt to do a makeup video for you guys. <laughs> that I've never done before. It'll be interesting. Makeup Monday. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where all my stuff is because I'm a disaster. And first I use moisturizer, clean and clear. The dual action one. I used to use the morning one, but now I use the dual action. And yes, I still have a little bit of makeup on from yesterday, but I'm in a hurry. So I'm just gonna keep it there. <laughs> I don't know how all the music laws work, so I'm just gonna not put any music on this video. Sorry, it's hella quiet. I'm really boring. Oh, sorry, I suck at this, okay. Moisturizer, Smashbox Photo Finish. I got it for Christmas. Um, it's a little greasy, but I like it. It does a job. And I'm almost out of cover up. Mm, foundation, that sucks. Okay, I do my eyes next, cause I tend to make a mess. I'm like, don't have the greatest palettes in the world. Especially all my palettes are in the car, so great. Living out of boxes sucks. So my mom got me this Sephora thing for Christmas. It's kind of average. <sighs> but I love her, so that's okay. I use it anyway. So I'm gonna go in with the like creamy colors on the end. As this is starting out, just to cover up what I had. Because <laughs> I woke up late, because I get up at 5 in the morning. And then I'm going to go to the opposite end, where it's not like the more of a brown tone. They should really name these things. Um, and then on the end, there's this dark tone I'm going to do that with. I wear a lot of neutral browns and, like, maroon colors. Every once in a while, I can get crazy, though. More glitter. Like, I have a whole bag of glitter. And then... I'm going to use... This blue Smashbox palette. And these are the colors. They're super pretty. I love the pigmentation. Uh, I'm going to go in with this one. And then I just go into my crease with that one. You guys probably can't see very well. But hey. It's my first one. I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. A little bit more. Good. Okay. So now I'm done with my crease. Mm, where is this? This is a disaster. <clears throat> Can't find my. I guess. Oh, 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 oh. This brush is fucking boy. It came with it comes with all the palettes for naked. I use it a lot. I have no idea what any of my brushes are called. So don't ask. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with this color. It's like a shiny gold. I don't know, I like it. I'm putting it on the crease, I think that's what you call it. 
I never said this was going to be a great video. <laughs> it's already hella long, too. This is a work in progress, people. Work with me. <clears throat> so now I just did some of my eyes. I don't finish them. I'm weird. And then I go in with my foundation. But first I'm going to do cream. I need to wet this, but I don't want to get up because when I do my makeup, I don't wear pants. <laughs> so, wet your beauty blender. I cannot. <laughs> um, so, the green corrector stuff I use, I have my own in a different one. But this palette does come with it from Sephora. So, we'll just use it. And just kind of cover up your blemishes. Did I, it's just a green as well, or like a red corrector. I really don't know what I'm doing, I just go for it. Mm -hmm. And I put the orange with a peachy color underneath my eyes for dark circles. foundation can cover them up because I don't want it to completely go away obviously so I just put which I'm almost out I'm gonna cry but I have the Kat Von D locket foundation in the color light 45 warm and I think I just used my last pump what the hell I'm gonna stroke well no okay I guess we're just gonna like wing it and use my mom's cover-up visible lift blur foundation it looks like it's the same color it's gonna have to work because i have nothing else okay here we go let's see if it's freaking covering the lighting in here is just awful i'm so sorry yep mm -hmm. it's doing okay it probably won't last all day like that other stuff, but it, it's definitely lighter feeling. I'm gonna need more. It definitely is like almost bouncy, if that makes sense. Um, not really a fan. I wanna go get Fenty. If anyone else, comment below if you have Fenty foundation. I wanna try it so bad. Blend the just beat that face. Uh get it girl, get it. <sighs> okay. Once your face is completely beaten. I'm gonna make sure all my little green specks are gone. <laughs> That's done. My eyes look pretty good. Now I'm gonna use concealer if I can buy it. Okay, the concealer I'm gonna use is Pro Concealer by LA Girl. <laughs> Come on, there it is. I did that little like triangle trick they try to teach you, they tell you to do. I use a darker orange concealer and then later um, pigment in it because I have really bad dark circles. So, if you're like, why is her concealer so orange? It's because of that. Okay, 
terrible dark circles on the back. And this seemed to be the best solution. that set well that's setting I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then I'm going to finish my eyes <coughs> and now I think this is almost out too so it's always a bad day when like half of your makeup is running out let's just put that together they don't look half bad but it's because it's yesterday's makeup I'm sorry if I'm using the viewfinder, it is way easier than using my mirror, actually. Hmm. I just kind of fill them in. I don't really do anything fancy. And honestly, they kind of look different every day. <laughs> I just go with it. Mm. Mm, they look average, but I'm in a hurry. Um, my eyebrows are done, and I want to sit. Um, I used to have Laurie Mercier, but it is gone, so now for setting, which I know is terrible, I'm using this Shine Free Loose Powder by Maybelline. Uh, I want to get more, more Mercier powder, because it was amazing. And mine's almost gone, so I usually bake. But I can't today. I'm just gonna have to powder set. Okay. Now, this is gonna look fucking crazy. But this is how I contour sometimes. So, don't touch me. I like a bold contour. So, in this palette, there is an eyebrow. And I just use that brown. And then I use my beauty blender to blend it. And it blends so well. You, you saw that dark line. It didn't look like it was going to do a good job, but it did. And I like it. Uh, blend, 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 blend. Hmm. I just started contouring my nose like this, and I'm not the best at it. So, I just make lines on the sides, and then one on the little bottom, and then I rub them in. I have a pretty big nose, and I have a lot of nose piercings. One of my piercings is my septum, which I have pushed out because of working in a restaurant. So, that one. Well, that looks good. And then I go in with um, my dual MAC um, for some little contouring just to help it out. And just put it right there. Right there on my jawline. Push it down. And then around my forehead. Just a quick. Some MAC blush in the color, it's really old. Um, well dressed A11, I think that's right. Mm -mm. Nah. Put on some blush, and I'm gonna add a little bit of this Georgia Peach. Blush. It's from Macy's, I think. That's what it says. Oh, 
Georgia Peach. It reminds me of the Hulu, um, or Hula, I think it's Hula bronzer. That's what it reminds me of, and it smells amazing. Okay, and then I have, oh, that was my blush. I have highlighter. <sighs> my highlighter is currently in the car, probably frozen. So I'm using this Tarte Little Tiny Compactor Highlighter in the color Stunner. I'll show you guys. You're probably not going to be able to see but the good highlight of it when I even put it on, but we'll try. I put it on with my finger because I tend to get a better result. It's more, I don't know, got a little more of a shine. I don't normally wear lipstick, but I love putting highlighter in my cupids with one, like, on my lips. And then I always rub this all the way under my eyes, too. And then I take the palette I was using before, and that brown color, mix with a little bit of pink and red, and I put that on the bottom of my eyes because it really rounds out the look when you put it on the bottom. Makes your eyes look fuller. And then I have some white eyeliner because I like to make my eyes look bigger. This is gross. I'm not letting you look at that. I don't like a lot because Otherwise, I don't know, it's overpowering. Okay, so I'm done with my face. I just need to do mascara. And then wake up my fiance so I can leave for work. Okay, so I live by this, ma this mascara. I live by it. It's called the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. I freaking love it. I think it's like 6 or $7. I got it at Walmart. And I apply this first. Mm, don't judge my mascara face. I'm coming. Uh, I have the sniffles because of this damn state. Minnesota, you think? I can't wait till summer. I used to do like a million more coats, but I haven't really got time. And then I also use the Lancome um, Excess Oh, Hypnos Drama. I got it in a little tiny. Got it in this for Christmas from my mom, so I've been using it. It works pretty good. setting spray is empty so my mom got me one for Christmas in that little tiny bag and inside that little tiny bag there was a little tiny spray so that's all I got okay mm. that's it